the time came when users wished for an additional function which allowed the production of SYN beams with non-parallel tapered flanges. Seaman engineers have been able to make this wish come true as well by fitting their robots with multiple tools. Like a true Western hero, the robots pull the appropriate gadget out of the holster and operate it with the usual precision. The course of the defined intersection line is measured with a laser appliance. Along this line, the SYN beam, which is at first parallel flanged, is slit by a plasma arc torch. At the same time, the two additionally required flanges are being prepared on the feeder rail. Still in the assembly station, the two previously separated beam sections are pulled apart at such distance that the pre-prepared flanges can be inserted in the interspace. After that, all parts are tightly clamped together and fixed. Now both robots carry out the laser measurement of the weld seams, consecutively so as not to abstract each other, and write the digital course records. Then the blowpipe heads are activated successively. They make both weld seams on the transverse sides according to the outlined scheme. After that, the finished components are transported longitudinally to the release station. Should specific cuts be required in the corrugated web sheets, which does happen occasionally, they are created in the assembly station with the exception of two small connecting points, which can easily be caponized with an angle grinder where necessary. Afterwards, these beams are also sent on their way to the release station.
The product name SYN system is derived from the characteristic sinusoidal profile of the web.